Go check out buycheapfifacoins.com to get the best cheap coins around on the market. Use the discount code ROSSI for an extra discount off your coins. It's a fully automated service. So you get your coins instantly. What more could you ask for? Now let's roll on to today's video. Hello guys, Mr. Ross1990 here in this episode 176 of the Random Hybrid. First things first, you can smash the like button, that'd be absolutely amazing. Also subscribe to my channel if you are new, that is always very much appreciated. We're going to be using big international man of the match, Ron Vla, for this episode for a reason. I don't even know, I just fancied using him. He's a card which I like the look of, I actually got him in a pack, so it works both ways. But if you can smash the like button, tomorrow's episode, live episode for a Sunday, we will use Record Breaker Kloss. If you guys want to, of course, smash the comment section with Kloss, 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 Kloss. If you want to see that, that will be absolutely cool because I can do that. I've got him. I've got him in my club for tomorrow's episode. I thought I'd, I'd wait till tomorrow to do him because the um, the live ones are, you know, more, more special in my opinion. They're more better to watch uh, with the bigger players. And for Ron Blanford today, you know, he's a decent player I want to see on this game. He's got very good in-game stats of, like, the strength, the long shots, etc. He's a centre-back regardless, but it's big Ron Blanford. He had a very, very good World Cup, to be fair to him. Plays for Aston Villa, of course, but um, we're going to use him. Sod's Law. He's going to be shit. But, <laughs> you know, before we might as well. We've got literally a million coins on the dot, pretty much. I also picked up my 100th loss from a bloody disconnection. Can you believe it, lads? Fucking bullcrap this game sometimes. But if we get disconnected in this game, I do apologize. But for some reason, my Xbox is being a hashtag wanker all of a sudden. But we're going to go on to today's episode. Uh, I'm going to pick a number off the top of me here. We're going to do 7 and 7. 7 and 7. My favorite number is 7, of course. So why the hell not? Ron Vlar, who's going to be our other two players? Hopefully, it can be somebody quite good. But then again, hopefully, somebody not who costs over a million because then I'm in trouble. But um, yeah, 7 and 7. Ron Vlar, you know, Dutch Premier League player. That's a good mixture of nationality and league so seven and seven is going to be one two three four five six seven we've got dave or ashbilakweda who is a very good player in this game unfortunately he is another premier league player which is a little bit unfortunate but you know that's not a big problem because he's another defensive option so we could definitely uh, work on magic there a little bit but um hopefully we don't get a third from a league player because that would just ruin everybody's life but um, we're gonna go for 40 47 k that'll do so yeah, 7-7. Seven and seven. Hopefully we can get somebody half decent. But yeah, apologies for not doing any random hybrids in a few days now. It's been like 5 or 6 days and um, I do apologise, but it's my Xbox which being a wanker. It really is. It's really actually starting to really chat my ass. Who's 7-7 seven seven on this page? It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Bollocks! It's another Premier League player. Um, okay. 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 That's interesting. That is very interesting. Oxley Chamberlain's in form. I think it's, when this is the inform, which is actually a CDM, if I'm not mistaken. But they're the three players we've been given, guys. So, holy tits. We can definitely do a team around him. I could put Oxley Chamberlain maybe in a more central role and uh, work off from there. But that's fine. That is actually fine. Uh, I'm trying to think what I can do. Holy titty balls. But okay, whatever. If you want to go make your own variation of the hybrid, then go over to Foothead or Footwiz and... Make, it, make a team, basically, and link it in the comment section below. I'm always checking them out. They're always fantastic. You guys seem to be a lot better at making hybrids than me. It's ridiculous. But like I said at the start of the video, if you can smash the like button, that would be very much appreciated. My controller's gone cray-cray. That's me out. I'm going to make a team. I'll see you in two. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is the team I've come up with. As you can see, we've got our three little Premier League players chilling down here. We've got Ron Vlau, the player's going to be the features for this episode. Uh, first, owner on his, oh, ugh, first owner on him, as you can see, medium high work rate. He's got that four star weak foot, which is pretty handy. Uh, only two star skill moves, but he's a big, big guy. And uh, I imagine his strength is in the 90 plus. I think his long shots and shot power are pretty good, even though his shooting only says 63. Don't let that put you off. He's an animal. And I hope he has a good season for Aston Villa because he had a phenomenal World Cup. He really did. And he deserves this Iron Man of the Match card, in my opinion. And we've got Dave here, or Aspil Equator. Not really too sure why people call him Dave, but it's easy to say, I suppose. Uh, first owner on him as well. I actually packed him when. It was his regular card, and it was that thing where um, EA hadn't quite put them in packs, but he should have been in packs, so luckily he changed to this one, which is cool. And an Oxlade Chamberlain here, 62k pay for him. We're going to chuck him in center mid because he's actually a default CDM, because that's where he played when he got his um, inform, technically, but he's not he's not a CDM at all on card, is he? But center mid, you know, he's got okay stats for a center mid. You'd, ro you'd much rather have him as a cam, really, wouldn't you? But like I said, I didn't want to push too many Premier League players in this team, and I don't feel as if I have. I feel as if I've done quite well with this one. We're going to start with an Erda Vise goalkeeper. You could have had any of these ones I got here. Uh, we're going to go with Selesen, I think he's called. He is the guy they played in the World Cup. He's the guy who famously got subbed off for Tim Krull um, when they wanted to go to parties, and then it worked out really, didn't they? Because Tim Krull went and saved the parties. would have had Tim Krull's Man of the Match card, 
but I would have added another Premier League player to this, and I didn't really want to add too many Premier League players considering we already have three at the start. But we're going to go over centre back for the Odivise now. We're going to go over Daily Blind. Uh, I always thought he was called Blind. I'm not going to lie to you, so I thought he was cool. But after watching him in the World Cup, Blind is how you say that name. Uh, high medium work rates is annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. Left footed as well, which is going to be a little bit frustrating on the right hand side. But you're going to have to avoid it. Another pack pulled one as well. He looks really cool on card. He's got 80 passing for a centre back, which is phenomenal. Uh, move over to the right back now. We're actually going to have Van Rin. Now I was going to have Yanma, who's recently transferred to Newcastle, but for some unknown reason, he's going for like 200k. And I'm not paying that for like an average. Um, discard, I would have thought, um, inform gold. So I thought Van Rin, first owner, good play. He's got an inform as well, but goes like 400k. And I thought I can't really be bothered to be wasting my coins on them when their regular cards, in my opinion, is just as good. The centre mid we're going to go for, I'm going to try this guy out right here. The reason I'm going to try him out is because he came on in the World Cup. Uh, I was going to have Vilhena, and I was going to have Klassen, and I thought, why the hell not try out a guy who I've never tried before in this game, Jordi Classy. He had a good World Cup for, you know, he, he, he came on a few times, did something good. He's got medium-high work rates, which is a strange one, so he'll sit back a little bit. He's very small at 5'7", but... Like I said, I want to be trying different players, so I've tried Klassen, I've tried Van uh, with Vilhena, people like that. I was going to try and get Schneider in here, but it wasn't working out. Um, but that's, you know, that's, I feel as if that's good. I feel quite happy to be trying out different players. The next player we're going to go for is going to be another Premier League player. It's going to be a Dutch centre mid. It could be either of these two. But we're going to go for Leroy Fur for the reason of him being an absolute beast in this game and a joy to use. Uh, and that holding midfield roll, high, high work rate. So it's not too bad work rates for that midfield. The next lot is actually going to be a bunch of MLS players, which is cool because I've actually packed an MLS player recently who um, is very good. Uh, not this guy, but he's going to be in cam. It's Bradley Roy Phillips, second in form. Ideally not a cam, if you look at his card, but for chemistry reasons, that's where he's going to play. And I may change it up in game and um, see how it works out, but he's not got great passing. That's why he wouldn't be a desired cam. But, you know, with the two strikers we've got, I'm quite happy to play him in cam. The two strikers we've got is... I'm going to say third in form Defoe, I think that is now. I'm not too sure. Um, but also in form Henri. Who paid off a 17k, ridiculously cheap for a legend card. <laughs> but Jermaine Defoe, first owner, which is awesome. Because look at them stats for an 85 raid. 86 pace, 91 shot on card. 85 dribbling for a guy who used to play in the Premier League, of course, at Tottenham. Went to the MLS and seems to be finding it very easy indeed. Because he's already banned himself three in forms, I do believe. I think that's his third in form. I might be wrong, so mistake me. Uh, correct me even if I'm wrong. But that team, in my opinion, looks really cool. It looks different. We don't try these players enough. Uh, we've got some Dutch players. We've got we've got quite a few Dutch players, actually. I've just noticed. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six Dutch players. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, I do apologize for that. I've only just noticed that. But that is what it is, considering we had to use a Dutch player. for. I chuck some more in there and um, go from there. So that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> I didn't know if you just realized that then. But we've got Premier League. We've got Eredivisie. And we've got MLS, which is a very nice mix of three leagues. Hopefully, it plays well. I'm I'm thinking it might with the two strikers we've got. The midfield's iffy. Uh, the cam and three centre mids probably because, you know, you probably wouldn't go out your way to use them. Especially Oxley chamberlain and Wright Phillips. Maybe I should switch them around in game, but then Wright Phillips will probably be even worse in centre mid. But he's there for chemistry reasons, and I just want to try him because he's one of the new informs, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So that is this part of the video, guys, done. Would you have gone with a different team? Let me know in the comment section below. It's always cool to see. Smash the like button if you haven't already subscribed if you are new. I'll be back in two seconds when we find ourselves an opponent. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, so we just found ourselves our opponent. It looks like he has a 3-5-2. Pretty sweaty team, but you know, people like to use these teams. He's got Eto, he's got Aubameyang, as I like to call him. He's got a, a lot of Brazilians at the bottom there. But you know, a decent team nonetheless, and it'll be a difficult team to come up against considering we have no bloody whip in our team. But still, let's try and win this game. Let's do this. Oh god, Ron Vla. Big Ron! Get back, you bastard! Good save, Celeson. Big throw, come on. Got a very small attacking lot, apparently. Apparently he's gone behind. Oh, and he scored! For fuck's sake! What even bloody happened there? I thought I fucking got it away. Apparently not. He's come back and scored. Ron Vla, you bold bastard. What was that all about? For fuck's sake. Shit goal to concede. There it was, big Ron fucking up. Bastard. I knew it'd be shit. I just knew it. Fuck my life. 1-0 down. Leroy, great turn. Opens up for Defoe. Oh, if he could get a bloody shot away, it'd be nice. Oh, look at the shit. He fails an advanced rainbow and it still works out better for him. He's going to score. Fucking hell, man. Really? Jesus Christ. This team is shit. Probably the worst I've made in a long time. This is going to be a struggle. This could be 10-0. Game on. Come on, Henri. 
make something happen, you bastard. Oh, got the jam. Omri oh, strikes one. Not even close. Not even take a Lynn Helton's balls. Fuck my life. Come on, big throw. Oh, that was shit. The pace. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, shit. I've made a fucking crap team, guys. I do apologise, but apparently, apparently, this team sucks ass. And I do as well, according to my fucking defending. Ron Vla is the biggest bunch of cack since fucking Emil Heskey. Fuck my life. Holy shit, it's half time and we are heavily losing this game 3-0. It could have been a lot worse, let's get real. He's absolutely smashing me. If there was ever a game where someone was absolutely cacking my balls, it was right now. Right now, 3-0 down, not even looking like scoring. This could be 10. He's going for the KSI as well. One absolute kick in the balls. 3-0. Ah, uh, we've got no hope. But we'll try. We'll try. And Eto's going to score another one. Yeah, goalkeeper just stand there. That's cool. That's fucking cool. Team of the season, you bell end. You fucking bell end. 4 0. He just lets it roll. He's like, yeah, fine, fuck it. We're already 3 0 down. Might as well have another fucker. Motherfucker. 4 0 now. Ah, we can't even get a fucking single shot on target. Motherfuckers. There goes Thierry Henry. This is more like it. Jermaine Defoe opens up a gap. Jermaine Defoe. Better, better, but still, 4-0 down. We haven't got a hope in, fuck. But we're going to score a corner goal just to piss everyone off. There's fur, not a chance. Look at that run. I'll tell you what, Leroy's had a little gange forward. Who the fuck is this? The pace abuse of David Luiz is disgusting. End the game. Thank you. 4-0 loss, Jesus Christ. Didn't even stand a chance. We were absolutely shite. Fair play to the guy, fully deserved his win, and he got his win in style. 4 0. Look at that, clapping right in that guy's face. GG. Fuck my life. Really, really, really annoyed with how bad that team played. Probably my own fault for playing the likes of Oxford Chamberlain centre mid and Wright Phillips in cam, but that's where the chemistry worked. That's the players we were given. Unfortunately for me, it turned out to be quite poor. This team needed a bit of whip. Henri was really shit. Like, beyond belief shit. I wanted him to be good, but he really wasn't. Defoe was at least creating some chances. Leroy Farr, man of the match for us, that is expected. Apart from that, it was poor. It really was quite poor. I don't even know looking for goals. It never happened. His team was decent, though. You, you expect him to win with a team like that? He was all over me, really. He really was. Let's have a quick look at the actual in-game stats. Um, we got some coins. We'll take that. 381 coins. To be fair, I have more bloody shots. How has he won that game 4-0, looking back at that? But I think my shots were, you know, they came in the second half mostly, and they were, you know, they were just not really goal-scoring chances, I'm trying to say. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. A like could be absolutely fantastic. Let me know a better team, which we could have made with them three players, because I really did struggle with that. It wasn't a great team, but tomorrow's episode, Miroslav, 90 rated Kloss. If you want to see that, smash the like button. Also, write in the comments, Kloss, 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 everywhere. Spam it. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it either way. Have a nice day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.